We also have Jameson in Florida. Hello to Jameson. Good evening. Jameson Burmeister here. I'm 18 years old and I'm an incoming freshman at Duke University. I heard you talk about it a little bit earlier in the segment, but my question is, when investing, I often try to couple both the technicals and fundamentals together to aid my decision on what to buy. However, even with good leadership, great PE ratios, uh, great balance sheets, cash flows, et cetera, sometimes the technicals are just screaming the other direction. How do I approach the trade with caution? And should I even make the trade knowing that the stock could very well tank in the short term? Also, just a side note, what books would you recommend to the young investor who is eager to learn about the market? Thank you. Jamieson, that's a, that's a great question. I'm going to take it first, and then I'll go to Delano. I just want to say a couple things. The first is um, you're going to have to decide at some point whether you're trading on technicals or investing on fundamentals. It's going to be really hard to walk that tightrope because those two things are going to disagree at exactly the most critical moment, and you're going to have to pick one. The world is going to force that choice on you. So fun, fundament, or technomental investing is what the pros call it, where they try to have it both ways. It's really, really hard. But you don't know yourself yet as an investor. You're just starting. So don't, don't, don't worry about being doctrinaire and, and choosing a side. Experiment. Figure out what works for you. On the book thing, real quick, um, Nick Murray, uh, Simple Wealth, Inevitable Wealth. It's the book that changed my life when I read it 11 years ago. I wish I had read it when I was your age. I'd be way further ahead of the game. It's not available on Amazon. You have to buy it on his website. Delano, what's your take on Jameson's excellent question? Yeah, Jameson, this is a great question. And you're right. Sometimes the way a stock moves flies in the face of conventional techniques like fundamentals that you may look at. So, but if you really believe in your thesis and your framework, again, why not take a small position, whether it's paper trading or a bit of your capital to learn, to understand, to grow from that. That's literally the basis of investing for value investing is finding companies with strong fundamentals, whether it's their balance sheet or their PE, and you believe based on your intrinsic analysis that the market has it wrong. And the forefathers of investing like Buffett made their living doing this. And you talked about books. You can look at things like The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham, or like, which is a cult classic. And I was just obviously looking at Warren Buffett's um, essays and reading his shareholder letters. Great ways. But who knows, Jameson? You may be the next one. But you just got to get in the game and, and do it safely. Doug, what do you say? You have any literature suggestions for Delano? <laughs> or I'm sorry, for Jameson oh, and Delano? Yeah. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yeah, you got to check out uh, A Random Walk Down Wall Street. Uh, by uh, Burton uh, Malkiel. And uh, there's a new one coming out this September uh, by a friend of mine, Morgan Housel, called The Psychology of Money. I think that's going to be worth checking out for sure.